Hello, my name is Melanie Martin and I'm one of the school counselors here at Carver Center. This video is to review some information we share with all of our seniors recently about how to receive supporting documents to go along with their college application. That includes letters of recommendation, transcripts, and test scores. So we visited our senior classes recently and all of our 12th graders received a folder with several documents in it. Uh, we're going to go over one of those documents in particular in detail today. It has a lot of information on it, so we want to make sure every student and every family understands how to complete the different steps in order to receive those supporting documents that will accompany your college application. So we are going to cover its elementary college, uh, the college application steps for Carver Center. Now, the first step is the consent for release of records. It's important because all transcripts and any documentation about your child is considered confidential, and so we need your permission to be able to send any of that. In that folder, all students received a yellow sheet that on the top it says, consent for release of records. At the bottom, please make sure that you sign and date and have your child turn it in to Ms. Jackson. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. In the Jackson. school counseling Thank office you, sweetie pie, possible. Cutie pie. The second step that we are going to cover is on the Common Application. www.commonapp.org is the site that we're going to be referring to. First and foremost, students must create an account on that website in order to uh, complete the Common Application. When they sign in, the first thing that they're going to want to do in order for us to be able to help them is fill out the Educational Information section. And it's extremely important to note that when you include their high school information, that Carver Center is, is chosen by clicking on a drop-down box as opposed to typing it in. Once you're able to complete the common application, you have to at least add one college, which is the next step in this. When you complete that step, you'll be able to not only fill out the educational information section, but most importantly, fill out the FERPA waiver. When you get to the point where you get to update your counselor information, we also included all of the counselors' names and their email addresses and phone number for you, and it's based around Alphabet. I'm gonna cover the steps that you are gonna be completing using Naviance Family Connection. You're gonna to wanna to use this web address, connection.naviance.com backslash ccat to get onto Carver Center's Naviance website. And these are the steps that you, you will need to complete. The first thing you're gonna to, going to want to do is update your list of colleges that you're applying to. Now, as juniors, your list would be colleges that I'm thinking about. So if you click on the colleges I'm thinking about list, and you can select the colleges that you've decided to apply to, and then choose to move them over to colleges that you're applying to. And so then you'll see them on that list. When you're looking at your colleges I'm applying to list, you should look out for a few things. So you can edit each of those individual applications and make sure that the application due dates are correct, the application type is correct. So under colleges I'm applying to, if you click on a little pencil, you'll be able to edit what type of application you're filing. Most students are applying regular decision, which is abbreviated RD. That means that your deadline, everyone ha may have the same deadline for that college. It may be sometime early spring. Uh, so that's generally regular decision. Early action is non-binding. That means that you apply early, you're in a smaller pool of students, you find out earlier if you were accepted, and you get to decide if you're going to continue to apply to other colleges and, ex and, and um, use your acceptance and attend a, a different school. Early decision is binding. That means that if you are accepted at your early decision school, you cannot accept any offers from any other schools, even if you receive a better financial aid package from a different school. So we advise students to make a very informed decision about whether or not to apply early decision to a school. Uh, some applications are, are rolling admissions. They are abbreviated in Naviance as R-O-L-L. That means that that school may not have a traditional application deadline. They may allow students to apply until they fill the, the, all of the seats for their freshman class, but you should still 
um, be mindful of it, maybe setting your own internal deadline. Um, and then some applications are priority applications. Some schools use priority in place of early action, early decision. Uh, so you should check the college's website to figure out um, whether it, you're applying regular decision, early action, early decision, rolling, or priority. You want to make sure that your application type and due dates are correct in Navians. That's very important because what you see on your list is what teachers and counselors will see and those are the deadlines that they'll be using to make sure that your supporting documents, your transcripts and letters of recommendation are being sent to the colleges and universities on time. So if you edit that list and the deadlines don't look right, you either need to change your application type to a type that that college uses, or you need to stop by the school counseling office and have us edit your deadlines for you to make sure that they are correct based on what the college uh, advertises as their deadlines. So that's updating your list of colleges you're applying to. The next step is that you wanna make sure that any Common App schools you're applying to are listed both in Naviance and in Common App. Common App and Naviance cannot communicate and we cannot send documents to a Common App college unless it's listed in both places. So make sure Naviance lists all of your Common App schools and Common App does as well. The next step is to link your Common App and Naviance accounts. When you click on Colleges I'm Applying To, generally you'll see a blue bar across the top. It asks for you to enter an email address and your birth date. Um, if you have completed all the previous steps successfully, you'll be able to link your accounts and that will allow us to send documents on your behalf directly into your Naviance account. When you've completed these steps, generally the next thing you want to do is start requesting teacher recommendations and letter uh, and a teacher letters of recommendation and transcripts. I'm going to talk first about transcripts, which is not listed on this document. Um, your transcript and each senior received a, a copy of their transcript to review. Uh, your transcript will be sent as it is up to date um, and will be sent electronically to any school that accepts electronic transmission and in paper form to any school that is mail only. Uh, please leave two weeks, give us two weeks notice uh, before your, your due date. So you wanna request your transcripts two weeks prior to when you actually need us to send them. The way that you use Naviance to request transcripts is you again, click on colleges I'm applying to and somewhere above your list of colleges, there'll be a very small link that says request transcripts. You click on that link if you've already sent your consent form into Ms. Jackson, you will see that it will allow you to, to check a box for, any, for whichever transcripts you want us to send at that point. It is up to you as a student or family to decide when you want us to send your transcripts. Please bear in mind that, that between the beginning of the school year and mid-school year, January, no grades will show for senior year because you haven't earned any grades yet. So your transcript will list what courses you're taking your senior year, but have no courses listed. Your GPA will show as it is, which, uh, the GPA that you earned at the end of your junior year. In the middle of the year, in January, your transcript will change. It will list midterm grades, and your GPA and rank will be adjusted with projected GPA and rank. So if you're applying to colleges in February and March, and you want us to wait to send your transcripts until you've had the chance to earn some midterm grades and a higher projected GPA, then you may wish to wait until after January to request that we send your transcripts. Please know that once you request transcripts, we will send them within two weeks. So please plan out when you would like the transcripts to be sent on your behalf. For requesting teacher letters of recommendation, again, you wanna plan ahead and allow two weeks notice for any teacher recommendations. Please also be cordial, be courteous, and speak with that teacher directly to make that request so that they know that um, you would like them to write your letter of recommendation that you're gonna request some on Naviance. And then you're going to go on to Naviance. Again, you're gonna work in the Colleges I'm Applying To section. If you scroll to the bottom of the screen, you'll see a section for teacher recommendations. If you click on that link, it will open up a, a, a section that allows you to pick all of our teachers from a drop-down menu. After you pick your teacher's names, you can write them a personal greeting. You can simply write, thank you for agreeing to write my letters of recommendation. 
Um, or if you need to, you can be specific and say, um, please, thank you for agreeing to write my recommendations. Please send your recommendations specifically to these art schools and list them. Or please send your recommendations specifically to these liberal arts schools and list them. In that way, your art teachers, your prime teachers, music teachers, um, IT um, t teachers, whatever prime you're in, those teachers will know if you desire for their letters of recommendation to go to specific colleges and no one gets confused, all the teachers are very clear on where you want them to send your letters of recommendation. The last step, and this is another important one, is uh, instead of working in the colleges tab, for this one you're going to be working in the about me tab of Navians. Um, in order to help us to write a good letter of recommendation, we ask for you to please complete the Carver Center student profile. This allows us to write a strong letter of recommendation on your, on your behalf. So we ask for you to take a few minutes and fill it out um, and provide some information about you that we can use to uh, write a strong letter of recommendation. Um, it asks you to provide your prime. It asks you to provide three words that, that you would use to describe you. It asks for you to submit um, other supporting information that we would potentially put in a letter of recommendation. So please take some time, um, student independently or student with parent, and complete the uh, Carver Center student profile in the About Me section. Hello, I'm Ms. Kishores, and I'm going to be speaking to you today about the SAT score report. On the back of the paper that we gave to our students, we showed them how to request their SAT scores, ACT scores, or their AP scores. We get a copy of your student scores if they put our school code when they registered for the tests. However, what we need them to understand is that colleges and universities do not consider that to be the official SAT score report. So for our students, they need to be going, logging on to the website right here, the, either the www.collegeboard.org or the www.actstudent.org to request their score reports to be sent directly to the colleges and universities. And please remember, as we talked earlier about the waivers, that a student eligible for free and reduced lunches um, can register free of charge, just see your counselor. All right, so before we let you go, we wanna be able to provide you with just a little bit more information that we also include on our worksheet here. So first and foremost, at the top, we wanted to provide a way for students to know other colleges that might interest them that they may not even be familiar with. Supermatch on Navians is under the College tab and is one of the first options that they can choose. And what's great about this is that it allows them to, to choose location, um, type in what area of study they want to focus on in college, as well as entering in their scores, whether GPA or their SAT scores on there and then the website itself will pull colleges that would meet their criteria. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is the College and Affordability and Transparency Center. The great thing about this website for all our, our parents who are interested and want to know, well, how much will it cost my child to be at this school? Well, here, here you go. This is where you can go to look for that information it will tell you exactly how much it's expected to cost for your child to step foot on that campus. And lastly, we also have documents available on the Navians website for all of our students to be able to have access to in case that they have questions, whether it's about financial aid. And we also have a lot of helpful information in their Junior Jumpstart, all of which is available under the Home section the bottom right corner where it says documents. And if you have any other questions for us that we may not have answered on this video, please don't hesitate to contact your school counselor. And my name is Miss Leslie Aguila. Thank you.